Welcome to episode two of the Collection Dimension, man. It's been a real good week of collecting. Went to the comic shops, man. Got me some good stuff. Hit a couple different ones and all that. Um, got some ones that I was uh, planning on picking up. I did miss out on one, but that's cool. Uh, right now, man, there's been a lot going on. I ain't know if you've seen. Um, right now, the uh, writers from the movie Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, they left Marvel and they went over to DC to write the movie for Flash, man. So that's real big things because uh, the Spider-Man was a pretty good movie. And uh, if they're writing the Flash, man, and it's supposed to be on uh, the Flashpoint. So those are definitely comics that you need to look out for and all that. The, uh, the original ones and all that. So, um... Right now, every episode that I uh, always have, I want to have some different toys uh, uh, around me and all that. And uh, some of these are the same ones. Um, the reason is is because somebody told me they, uh, that I pointed out the toys, but I didn't really talk about them and uh, actually show them. And they're some pretty slick toys, so uh, I actually wanted to show them. Uh, this is actually a box of cereal. Smeagol's uh, from uh, Rick and Morty and everything. Pretty pretty dope box. I love, you know, I love Rick and Morty. Uh, so it's pretty uh from FYE on the back got the uh, where you can cut his stomach stomach open you know and then uh these are the uh RoboCop versus Terminator toys that I was talking about these are pretty good uh cool made by Nika beautiful pretty nice design I love the boxes look like a comic box here go the RoboCop. So those are some pretty beautiful toys. And then I was actually able to finally catch uh, my Deadpool back in black. Took me a little while to get it. Wasn't really searching 100%, but still <clears throat> dope toy to get. Then FYE also had uh, that I seen <laughs> my Rick and Morty chocolate bar. Uh, this is the uh, Squatchy Creamsicle bar. So... This already is going online. Pretty nice price. Uh, paid four bucks for it. And then I also got the Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Pickle flavored dark chocolate. Make sure you go and get them, man. If they even there. They sold out. I missed out on the Mr. Meeseeks. My bad. Didn't mean to say that. Uh, shout out to Black Panther. Because Black Panther just uh, uh, did the biggest pre-sale tickets for any Marvel movie in history. So that was pretty dope for Black Panther to do that. It's coming out February 16th, so we ain't even there yet. Hopefully that's going to be a dope movie. Um, then uh, there's some comic books uh, I wanted to talk about, actually. They're doing uh, Wolverine Died in the Marvel Universe a while back. And now there's uh, they have, they're bringing them back. But uh, they got... Um, different Wolverine sightings so they, they don't know where Wolverine's been and he's going to be popping up in a lot of different comic books and it goes in line and all that stuff so uh if you're into collecting sets and all that and uh want to look for this one um January Captain America number 697 is one that he appears in Amazing Spider-Man 794 he appears in and Thor 703 um you know me, I, I anything that I show or talk about or say that it's on a budget and everything that you can get at a good price, I want to be able to own, you know, because then people are going to be like, why don't you own it then? So I plan on getting the comics, and then they're, they got some for February and then March. So I'll be uh, going along the way with you and telling you when they come out and all that. Um, so uh, next we're going to be getting into uh, the comics that I'm picking for the week. Um... This actually talked about it last week, but I only I didn't show it again. I want to show it before I go away into the next skit. And then uh, this is the Venom Play Arts, man. Dope. I love the Play Arts, man. And they, they just look beautiful. And this is the Carnage version. So this is a special edition. So that's that was that's a very good one that I loved. Loved catching. Um so every week I wanna have a uh CGC comic that I set up to uh, set up the comics for. So this week is a comic that I had for like six, seven years, man. I'm happy that I went and CGC'd it and it came back at a beautiful grade. Um, so this is What If 
Deadpool was possessed by car uh, by uh, Venom. So did this ah uh, love it love it beautiful beautiful right there. So uh, next thing is gonna be uh, I'm gonna talk about the the three three comics uh, three actually it's kind of four comics that I chose to be ones that are uh, pretty good for the future to go up. So if you buy them now, they will go up in price, I feel. So um, that's coming up next, man. Make sure you stay tuned. All right, welcome back to the Comic Speculation, man. Hey, so I got some of these comics uh, coming up right here. Um, these are all ones that are on a, on a budget, pretty uh, reasonable prices that... Um, I feel will go up that it, hey, if you could catch them in the stores still I've done caught a few in the stores you know so I, I'm a searcher so if you are hey you know so um the first one that I'm gonna bring up is uh, this one is uh actually I didn't get the first print of this one I, I got to this one late um I got the second print uh, uh the you know, the second printing so this is the uh, first appearance of the neo neo joker so uh don't know what it's gonna do, but it's gonna be worth more if you can find it at retail price at the store. Still, definitely gonna go. They're already worth more, so uh, that's one to look up. I just grabbed a second printing because I think it's pretty dope. And uh, this is actually the. Uh, if you look for this one, then this one is the Batman White Knight number four. So number four, the variant. This is the variant cover, and the variant cover is actually the first cover with neo joker on it so that's why i scooped that one i thought it was a cool find to get uh paid four bucks for it too so it wasn't nothing it wasn't nothing breaking my pockets um next one is uh actually uh walking dead so i grabbed um <clears throat> this is walking dead 171 when i go to the store they still have some of these um I grabbed quite a few of them. This is the first appearance of uh, Princess. I, for, I forgot her name really. She's a she's a princess in Walking Dead, so it's her first appearance. Um, then they came out. They had the variant, the variant cover. Um, pay cover price for those. Uh, first appearances, like I always say, I love first appearances because uh, if she steps in the show, you know this comic will blow up. You know the the, the comic will blow up to to a nice. And if you're in it for the money, man, you can flip it like that, you know. And that was just Bob buying. Okay, and then uh, this was what I was saying. Uh, this was actually the variants they're coming out with. I didn't get to this last week. I wanted to get to this last week. This is the Walking Dead variant that came out for 175 The last issue, man, is dope art, man. Definitely nice to get. Um, these are going to be the new variants, so it's going to be a set. The next one that's coming out for the next issue is Michonne. So I'll go and get Rick, man. If you can find this, it's already going for a nice price on uh, eBay and all that. Uh, so that's a nice one. Uh, so this next one is one that I, I've been saying for a while to people and everything. That's uh, the first appearance of Weapon H. So if you can get your hands on it at a reasonable price and all that. I was lucky enough to get it when it came out. And uh, when I grabbed it, man, I was lucky enough to... I want to CGC'd it. And... Uh, Came back beautiful at a 9.8. So that's the first appearance of Weapon H. Um, then I got the issue before this and his second appearance, CGC 2. So um, this was a beautiful thing to catch. Um, this is the first appearance of Weapon H. And um, he will be having his own series starting in March. So uh, it will be his own comics um, at the end of, uh, I think it was Weapon X 10 or 11. They kind of point the direction that he's going in. I don't like to divulge a lot and all that about uh, what's going on with it. So those are definitely ones that I feel that you should be keeping a lookout for, man. And uh, if you could get it at a nice price... Definitely get it at a nice price, man. So, next thing that I want to get to is uh, what I got this week. Man, I got some uh, some nice comics from uh, the store that just came out this week. So, it isn't just one pick. I got quite a few picks that I, I thought were uh, some pretty slick comics to come out. So, um, first one is actually this one came out last week. 
Um, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, but I caught the variant, man. I got the regular cover, um, but I caught the variant just because it, it, it was a beautiful, dope cover. It was, uh, who was it? It was, uh, let me see, let me see, Ryan Stegman, the artist. Man, this one's going for a nice price on eBay already. Dope artwork, man. Definitely something, something, if you can get your hands on it, beautiful copy, too. If you can get your hands on it, man, it, it, it's dope artwork, man, and I love it. Um, so uh, that that was one that I already caught. So uh, this next one is gonna be uh, this week's all all this week's pick, man, coming up. All right. So this week's pick, man, like I said, it ain't just one. I got numerous comics that I picked from uh, this week that I just thought were um, slick covers and everything. And uh, usually I like have like to have one. But uh, last week, this is actually, if you see in the back, that's from the second cover. I'll show you in a sec. Oh, here we go right here. So this is the second appearance of Voyager. Okay, now Voyager, I was reading... Um, I don't want to go too much into the story and tell people what it is. Like I said, I don't like to go too deep. But uh, without saying, she she was practically always a part of Avengers until she got erased. So this is her story. This is the second appearance that just came out um, this this week. The, the, today, today, today. Um, then uh, Venom. Venom Omega. This is the last part of it. Um, with this one... Uh, I wanted to get the variant, uh, but I think it was like $100 at the store, and I got there late, um, so I, I missed out. It was a dope-ass cover of Spider-Man, beautiful artwork, too. So that was definitely one, if you can find that shit. Um, so Deadpool, my man, Deadpool. This one, uh, oh, uh, Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan. If you can find a variant, all the variants of uh, Deadpool... Well, mixed with Wolverine and all that, with the claws and everything, they always go up in price, man. They're usually worth more than what you paid for them. So I think this is a good one to have, and this is the first uh, that they, they mixed them together. So this is the Pooverine. I guess that's what they call Pooverine. Sounds weird when I say it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I scooped these up because I thought these were nice. Uh, I think I thought it was nice art and everything. Uh, so I got the Batman number thirty-nine. This is where I guess him and Wonder Woman uh, are battling that war and they're getting into it or something. That's what I was reading up on or something. I'm pretty sure that was this one. And this this cover, I just love this cover because the, the Wonder Woman is dope. She She's dope in this cover. So that's some beautiful artwork right there. Um, I grabbed the Damage, number one, for DC. Um, it's the number one. It's his first series and everything, practically like a, their version of the Hulk. Um... Then this Aquaman, man. I grabbed the Aquaman because this is the variant. I actually want to go back and grab the uh, other Aquaman. I think it was the regular uh, cover of him fighting uh, King Shark. That, that was some dope art, too. But uh, this is a beautiful piece right there. Um, grab that Harley Quinn. This is the variant. This is the start of a new story with a new writer. So make sure if you can get this, uh, the variant and everything, I think this is going to go up. Um, my store only had one, and the other stores didn't have any other. Uh, I was actually lucky to find uh, one other one far out um, somewhere. So uh, for independent, uh, Call of uh, Suicide Force, Call of the Suicide Force, I grabbed it. It's number one. Um, so practically with Call of the Suicide Forest, um, they're going to have some uh, connecting covers with it. So if you're going to get it, uh, buy all of them, man, because... Uh, It'll be worth it'll be worth a nice uh, amount, and it'll be pretty cool to have all of them if you like collect the sets like I do. Um, Go West. This was I like the cover and everything. Uh, this was uh, the first issue and everything. It, it was uh, only a dollar fifty too, so I grabbed that just because it was number one. I thought this one was a pretty dope cover. Teether. Um, pretty much about a fucked up girl. Uh, she, these kids. These kids are supposed to look for her, and uh, they, she's weird, and she starts eating people or something like that. So this was the number one issue. So then I got Days of Hate. 
Days of Hate, this is the first one, uh, the first issue of 12 that's coming out. Um, Days of Hate is uh, practically in the U in USA in 2022. It's a war story about uh, two people that are close, I think, that uh, end up splitting up and going to the separate sides of the wars and uh, all that. So that that one, I grabbed that one because that's one of 12 and who, who knows what that's going to turn into. This next one, um, I really like this already going for a nice price on uh, on eBay and everything. I think there was a low print run through uh, through image and everything. This is the ice cream man. Pretty twisted, pretty uh supposed to be twisted stories and all that. Different ones. Uh so this is was a, a good one to catch and they actually came out with uh, a very and the very is pretty cool. A lot a lot of them like it better than the, the original and all that. Um so that was what I all got just this week. I got more, but these were the ones that were on my top of the list that I thought were pretty nice grabs to get and uh, pretty good outlooks for the future for me just for cover price compared to what it will turn into to be. Um, and then I was actually able to catch a beautiful copy. I already got one, but this is even more. So Iron Man, number one had the guy and looked at it and I was able to catch it actually for 250 so that was not a bad price at all man so um thanks for tuning in this time till next week man I get back to you another day another day of comics and toys man so peace